Hey, Mike Gillette here, coming to you from the road yet again, this time in the great state of Texas. To discuss a particular question, here's the question. Why is it important to take charge of your own thoughts? Okay, this question comes up because we've been doing a big promotion the past few weeks uh, for my book, Mind Boss. And really, the central premise of that book is this idea that your thoughts are something that you can take control of. And then in the book, we get to why that's a good idea and some ways on how to do exactly that. So to that question, why is it important to do? Well, the first reason it's, it's important is because it's kind of a, a revelatory idea, simply because most people don't think of the thoughts in their head as anything that uh, they've got any sort of control over. Now, when I say you can learn to control your thoughts, that doesn't mean that uh, you stand up and declare to yourself, from this day forward, I will never have another sad or disturbing thought in my life. It doesn't quite work like that. What it does mean is that you can start exercising uh, discretion in terms of the way that your thoughts affect you. You can realize what thoughts are and their role in how you ultimately feel and their role in how you ultimately conduct yourself. Because here's the thing. In life, you know, we tend to think of thoughts as these things that just sort of, you know, passively occur to us. And, you know, if it's a, a happy thought, well, isn't that great? And if it's not a happy thought, well, darn it, that's uh, too bad. And we just can't wait till another happy thought comes along. You know, that, that sort of idea that these things just sort of happen like the weather. And, you know, like the weather, we have no control over it. But it's not quite like that. So if we can acknowledge that uh, there, there is this possibility, we can s sort of uh, work towards working with that possibility. But here's why it is important. Every situation that we encounter is going to trigger some type of thought. We're going to have a thought about every situation, every scenario. Each thought that we have has a resultant uh, emotion or two attached to it. So the, those emotions sort of come along with the thoughts. Um, if you are momentarily frustrated, uh, intellectually speaking, you tend to react emotionally as well. You know, sometimes you might have a thought like, oh, I can't believe I keep making the same sort of mistakes. I'm so dumb. Oh, I can't do ma whatever it is. Um, there's going to be some emotions that come along to accompany that thought. Now, understanding that is important because these emotions ultimately feed into the decisions that we make. You know, so if your decision is to, uh, you know, tear up the assignment that you were working on and then just give up, well, that's, that's not a decision that's going to lead to a productive outcome because every situation triggers a thought. Every thought has with it an accompanying emotion. Those emotions really drive the decisions we make and the decisions that we make lead to the outcomes that we experience in life. And our lives are ultimately this aggregate of all of these different outcomes. If you have unsatisfying outcomes, you will have an unsatisfying life. So let's get back to this idea of thoughts being something that you can learn with practice to take control of. So you're in a situation and that situation leads to a thought. Let's say it's a, it's a, a thought that you don't like. It's what we would call a uh, unhelpful thought. Okay. Uh, you feel frustrated. Oh, I can't do anything right. Okay. What is the anything? Okay, that, that's a pretty broad sweeping statement, but sometimes these, these thoughts in our head can not be logically based. They are more emotionally based. Again, they, they have these emotions that accompany them. So if it's because we're trying to fix something on our car and it doesn't go well and we you know, think to ourselves, ah, oh, I can't do anything right. Well, you know, let's pause for a moment. What is it specifically that we're not doing right? Well, it's, it's changing the oil. Okay, starting today, I'm going to educate myself on how to correctly, you know, change the oil. So, you know, we seek out that information, we go online, we watch a YouTube video, whatever it is, you know, instead of just trying to sort of uh, stumble through it, uh, you know, w without uh, any preparation whatsoever. So being aware that the thoughts we have aren't always logical or mathematical in nature. They're always going to have this emotional element to them. Those emotions really are the motivators. Those are the drivers for many of the, the decisions that we make. The decisions we make always uh, create the outcomes that we experience. Okay, so the 
the consequences of our actions, if you will, really have everything to do with uh, how we experience life. And if we're experiencing it in a way that, that we like, uh, that is uh, you know, satisfying and enriching to us. So learning to take control of your thoughts is a big deal. But it is not easy in that it's not instantaneous. It takes practice, just like anything else. You want to change your life physically for the better. You understand that there's going to be some work involved. Now, because what we're talking about is information that's sort of processed in intellectually, we might think, okay, I get it. I need to do this. Okay, now I'm good. Well, it's not like that. You have to build it into your thought process. You know, the way that you think is habituated. You can't just turn it on and off. You can't just grab a new thought off the shelf and just shove it into your head. It will take practice. And sometimes you will stumble. Sometimes you will sort of default into old modes of, of thinking and behaving. That doesn't mean that you're on the wrong track. It just means that this does actually take work. So if you're willing to put in that work, I invite you to, to take a stand for yourself and look at living your life in a more intentional way by starting today, taking control of your thought process. I think it will have a huge impact on how you engage with yourself, with others, and ultimately the way that you experience a more satisfying, purposeful life. If this sounds interesting to you, if uh, you'd like to learn more about what is it I do, I invite you to visit MikeGillette.com. Until then, stay strong.